Shalom, family Messiah Yeshua. Shalom to the worldwide YouTube and social media community. This is your beloved brother Shaul Yisrael coming back again with another Yahweh inspired message. I'll be reading from the book of Hebrews, chapter 4, and Psalm 16. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 16. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 16, I read, Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of favor that we may obtain mercy and find favor in, to help in time of need <clears throat> because of the sacrifice of Yeshua HaMashiach and Yahweh raised him from, from the dead and caused him to ascend up and above all Shamayim we who are born into Yeshua HaMashiach now have access to our Yahweh, wherein our prayers, our supplications, and intercessions are accepted before Yahweh. When we call on that blessed name, of that blessed man, Jesus the Messiah. Yahweh now accepts our prayers through him. Thus, let us pray without ceasing, family, knowing that when we pray, we work out our fellowship, relationship, and oneness with Yahweh. Through prayer, we communicate and commune with our Yahweh. Thus, let us pray with our ceasing family. Let us not neglect the privilege of prayer particularly praying for one or the other. And prayer simply is communication with Yahweh. Presenting whatsoever is on your heart before him. For Yahweh cares for you. So let us pray with our ceasing family. Let us be real in our prayers. Let us not be hypocritical. For in order for our prayer before Yahweh to be effective, we must abide in Yahweh's word. For it's written, now we know that Yahweh hears not sinners, but if any man be a worship of Yahweh and does his will, him he hears. To do the will of Yahweh is to live according to Yahweh's word, is to live according to Yahweh's law. Through Messiah Yeshua, we have been given a great privilege to commune with our great El and set apart one Yahweh. So take full advantage of the opportunity to pray without ceasing. As is written in 1 Peter chapter 5, the start of verse 6. Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of Yahweh. They may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. In prayer, we show that we are dependent upon Yahweh, that Yahweh is our source. He is our sufficiency. So let us not neglect prayer. Through prayer, 
we receive the pre precious promise of the Holy Spirit. Through prayer, we receive the renewing of the Holy Spirit. But effective prayer works by faith in Yahweh. By us acknowledging that Yahweh not only exists, but yet Yahweh is a warder of those that diligently seek him, of those that diligently obey him. So continue instant and fervently in prayer, supplication, and intercession. But be mindful in order for our prayers to be accepted before Yahweh, we must call on that name of that man that Yahweh ordained to be that perfect sacrifice the, that purchased redemption and reconciliation for us must call on his name because by calling on the name of Jesus Christ we glorify Yahweh who prepared and ordained that man to be that perfect sacrifice in calling on that name of that man that purchased redemption and reconciliation by his death on the cross we glorify Yahweh so when you pray, in order for your prayers to be accepted before Yahweh, call on that name of Jesus Christ, O Yeshua HaMashiach. For in calling on his name, our prayers become acceptable and received by Yahweh. So let us therefore come boldly unto Yahweh that we may find help in a time of need. Prayer is our means of communing with Yahweh. So let us pray with our season family. Let us not neglect prayer. Continue to pray with our CC family. For we need Yahweh's help. We need Yahweh's strength. We need Yahweh's power. That we may continue to contend earnestly for the faith once delivered unto the sapphire ones of old. So let's pray with our CC family. Don't neglect prayer. And prayer is not a matter of merely repeating the words of Messiah Yeshua. But true prayer, true supplication, true intercession unto Yahweh is the humbling of your whole heart before Yahweh. And you are pouring forth your sincere petitions unto him. Your real petitions. You're pouring forth your heart unto Yahweh. Knowing that Abba Yahweh delights to do good for you. If you're his child. If you have been born of Yahweh. If you've been reconciled unto Yahweh, if you're serving Yahweh, then you have a right to pray and supplicate and intercede before Yahweh. It's written in John chapter 9. John chapter 9 and starting at verse 31. John 9 verse 31. 
Now we know that Yahweh here is not sinners. But if any man be a worshiper of Yahweh and does his will, him he hears. So Yahweh only responds and hearkens to those who are obedient to him. He only responds to those who are one with him. So examine your heart. To ensure that your whole heart is with Yahweh. In fact, the scripture says in Ecclesiasticus. Ecclesiasticus. Yeah, Ecclesiastes chapter 18, starting to verse 23. Before you pray, prepare yourself and be not one that tempt Yahweh. Before you pray, you must ensure that your whole heart is with Yahweh. For Yahweh does not hear the prayers of sinners. But he hears the prayers of those who are humble and submitted unto his will. So let us not neglect prayer. Let us continue to call on the name of King Yeshua. That our prayers may be accepted before Yahweh. Let us continue to pray for one another, knowing that we all are suffering affliction of varying degrees. So let us continue to pray for one another. Let us stand the gap on behalf of one another, knowing that our Yahweh is our El. Our mighty one, our strong and settled foundation that is able to preserve us and guard us and sustain us unto the coming of his beloved son, Yeshua of Nazareth. So let us pray with our ceasing family. Exercise your faith in Yahweh. By lifting up your voice unto him. That you may receive help from Yahweh. For Yahweh desires to hear from us. He desires to help us. So continue to pray without ceasing. Do not neglect prayer. Especially the price that will pay. To give us that right to pray before Yahweh. And the price they were paid to give us that right to pray unto Yahweh is the life of Yahweh's son. So let's pray with our ceasing family. Don't neglect prayer, supplication, intercession. For through prayer, you receive the Holy Spirit. For those who haven't received the Holy Spirit as initially evident by speaking in another tongue as Yahweh permits you to speak, I exhort and admonish you to seek Yahweh, to serve Yahweh in prayer, supplication, intercession, petitioning Yahweh to fill you with himself. And to give you that utterance that testifies that he has filled you with himself 
which is speaking in another tongue as he permits you to speak. As often he moves you to speak. So call on the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Call on his name that your prayers may be accepted before Yahweh. For through prayer we receive that strength, that encouragement. that fellowship with Yahweh. So continue to pray with our ceasing family. Stand firm in your faith in Yahweh. Do not allow the situations and circumstances of this life to rob you of your faith in Yahweh. Allow your faith in Yahweh to grow stronger through the various trials and tribulation and persecution that we encounter. Hold fast to your faith in y'all. Continue to pray with our season. For Yahweh hears you. Continue to pray with our season, family. For Yahweh hears you. To those who do not know Yahweh, I invite you to repent of your sin. To go down in water in the name of Jesus Christ for the pardon of your sins and the quickening of your soul. I invite you, I strongly encourage you to seek Yahweh in prayer for the gift of the Holy Spirit baptism with the expectation that upon receiving the Holy Spirit baptism you will speak in another tongue as Yahweh permits you to speak. Yahweh hears you. So call on him. Present your prayers in the name of his beloved son. That your prayers may be accepted by Yahweh. So call on Yahweh while you have opportunity. Don't neglect prayer. Don't despise no shun prayer. But call on Yahweh while you have opportunity. For he hears you. O Yahweh, in the name of your beloved Son, Yeshua HaMashiach, I thank you for another opportunity to speak your word of truth. I beseech you, O Yahweh, that you draw whosoever will, those whom you have chosen before the foundation of Shamim and the Reds, to both hear and receive your word. Continue to grant us your elect ones, O Yahweh, opportunity and the boldness and the favor to pray without ceasing, O Yahweh. Stir our hearts to pray for one another, to stand in the gap with one another. Renew your spirit within us, O Yahweh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Yahweh. Renew your spirit within us, O Yahweh. Continue to pour out from your set apart fount of Shamayim, your uncommon favor, multiplied blessing, your great shalom, your patience, your perfect love, and your infinite and healing mercy upon us. Let it flow upon us and overtake us, O Yahweh. That we may continue to rejoice and celebrate you, O Yahweh. I give you a name, honor, glory, and praise, O Yahweh. So be it, so be it. Remember family as your able. And in the name of our Yahweh, please show your support by sending a donation to uh, my cash app, PayPal, or MoneyGram, or Venmo. Please show your support, family. Love you all, family. Shalom and shalom.